We chose to do the EICU basically for patient safety and a way to bridge our resources. We only had intensivists at one hospital in our health system when we started the EICU. So the only way we could leverage that intensivist coverage across every hospital was to do the EICU program. Video has been extremely helpful to us because we have to have a technology that can, can be utilized over uh, a low bandwidth. We have to have a technology that can be interfaced to our systems, which are disparate across our health system. This is a 24-7 monitoring center that we monitor over 450 patients across five states and 15 hospitals from this one location. I'm going to show you directly what the ERN does and we are going to um, look at the workstation and how they work. We are going to camera in by the small icon here and go directly to the bedside. We will ring a doorbell to let them know that we're entering the room. Hello, Mr. Smith. How are you today? I feel a little bit better. Yeah, some medication that you gave me earlier, I feel really That's great to hear. This technology in Mercy Safe Watch, or tele-ICU, allows us to be the, the, the observers, if you will, and we go in four times a day and audit for whether all the things are being done that need to be done. We can see everything in the room from the, the drips to the ventilator panel to the patient and how the patient looks. And now being on one platform with video, we're able to then seamlessly go in whether I'm from the EIC perspective or whether I'm a physician um, at a distance from a telestroke perspective. We're all using the same platform. It's one single way um, to be able to connect our patients at any place across Mercy. We're able to increase our footprint and care for a significantly larger amount of patients and al allow them access to um, that degree of patient care uh, while still staying close to home. Video's platform has offered Mercy's telehealth program many things, interoperability, being able to work in low bandwidth areas, and really making it easy to connect to a patient anywhere. It gives us mobile technology that I can use it off my iPhone or Android, and it also gives me the ability to use an iPad so I can place a physician anywhere. Most of us have expertise in taking care of patients and have little expertise in technology, so the simpler the better, and video clearly has made things simpler. The technology kind of falls away, and you're sitting there talking to a patient, talking to their family, moving the camera around to swing and talk to the wife or the husband, or the nurse in the room. It actually breaks down barriers, I think. Telemedicine allows us to deliver this time-sensitive care to many different facilities. One physician can deliver this acute care to many different facilities, thereby changing the outcomes of these patients. I think Mercy's been given a real opportunity to, to be on the forefront of a new technology that 10 years from now is going to be standard care.